Welcome back to Riftbreaker. My name is Ninaos and we are continuing this absolutely amazing uh, let's play here. So we have a few things that we can do. We have the continuation of the acidic planes. That means unlocking palladium. Or we have uh, going in for a hasonite, tanzanite and fertonite. The thing is like I want all of them first. This one is a longer quest chain. But once I get started on it, I really feel that I need to complete it because there's no point in stopping halfway. These ones are small quests that enables us to get Hassanite, Tanzanite, and Ferdinite. And uh, they're kind of more basic, but I think that they're fun to do. But it means that we're going to be delaying our Palladium. However, Palladium is super important because once I have all the three things, Titanium, Palladium, and Uranium, then I can make Fusion Power Plants. And Fusion Power Plants enable us to get basically unlimited energy, which means we can transition away from doing... Uh, ironium and carbonium mining and go into the synthesizing instead and then getting rare resources from the farms and i really want to do that because i think that's the cool way of doing it so as much as i'd really like to do these and they might sort of be seem very basic when we do it after the acidic planes reconnaissance i really want to dive into the reconnaissance the, the acidic planes today first though i want to show you that i have expanded the base a bit we need more space for what's coming uh, later on uh, so I had to expand it here and uh, while expanding I get attacked and this is also why I want to transition out because these I just keep losing them and I can't defend it but it's just so much work while this defense defensive wall here is actually holding things back quite nicely with all the stuff that I've thrown in but it's also using a lot of power so we had to upgrade all of our I keep calling them solar but wind turbines into Mark 3 and now we have a, a fair chunk of change here and uh, that's pretty nice and it looks like we're actually struggling a bit on the ironium part so what we could do and just this is just to uh, to illustrate a point over on this side we have this ironium synthesizer do we have a level two yes but if i do these things look at the amount of power they take they take 725 power 700 600 and 675 power so that's 1350 that's seven a block like this is 2007 2.7 megawatts of power we'll see that up here and it gives us a total of 10 ironium per second which is actually really nice 10 12 ironium but um that's a lot of power so we are going to transition into some I'm better power. A change in wind power let's get the hell out of there <laughs> affect our wind turbines that's not good we should have a lot of uh, stored power let's head into this acidic rift reconnaissance and uh, let's see that mission here we are and before we before they start talking we'll go in here and we have actually researched see we can't do that until they have rhodonite in order to get rhodonite we have to find red crystals and i can't remember where we find red crystals but we want them an extreme machine gun this uses the same ammo as the minigun swarm missiles Ooh, i have no idea what that is it sounds cool uh, but we, what we want to do is the minigun, the superior minigun. It takes cobalt and hassanite. We'll take it. There we go. And we can now upgrade this one. Look at the damage update. Oh yeah. And actually I want to take this one and disassemble it. I hope I get my mod back. I have no idea, but I hope so. This one has two mod slots. So let's find something. 33 additional damage. That's pretty nice. 33 additional damage. What? Okay, what else? Homing could be an option so that they always hit. Hit points enabled. That's a splash radius. I absolutely want splash radius on my minigun. That's insane, I think. I hope. Unfortunately, we can't do the plasma until we have the rhodinium uh, down here. And we are four research. That's not much. That is not much. It's going to take a while. But let's see. Environmental scanning in progress. Ashley, my senses are indicating a highly acidic atmosphere composition. Fluoric acid condensation is definitely abnormal compared to what we've seen in other parts of the planet. Something must be emitting the acid straight into the air. Let's look around to see what we can find. We want to scan all of these flowers, uh, especially the big bulbous one, I think. Is that the one? Maybe. Let's move it forward. I think it's the, the big bubbles one here. Maybe it's actually some mushrooms. I think it's actually some mushrooms we need to take. But you know, all of these have to be taken. Let's uh, follow the scanner here. Okay. 
I don't know how much I need of this, but I kind of feel that we need to get to... Oh, there it is. Rhodonite. There we go. New species to start discovered. These red crystals are really huge. Look at how the light is scattering. Oh, this is excellent. This is exactly what we want. They also contain a lot of rhodonite. We can use this mineral to construct high-powered laser emitters. Yep, and plasma. As well as other equipment. You are and we can also do enemies. this. We definitely need to learn more about these crystals. We should research road night handling as soon as possible. Oh, you're damn right we are. But then I can pick up just a bit, like just a bit of road night. Do I pick up road night? Uh, let's see, that's on the crafting. No, I'm not getting road night. Not until we actually have the research. Defensive buildings. Uh, drop what you have. We want road night. First, because Road Knight enables us to get good stuff. And we also have this is campaign, this is campaign. That was the Road Knight we wanted. Uh, we have a few other things the Canoptric Nest, we have to scan those, and the Crocoons. Those are the big metal uh, things. Alright. Let's uh, scan again and uh, go by the scanner here. Yep. Let's see what we got. A Geothermal event, I mean, I suppose. I don't know, we, we need to get this one up to familiarity increased. We need to get it to the point where I can research it. Is it here? Nope, it's this one. Good. Now this one tells us to get Ironium, but it also tells us to get Road Knight. So we can farm this for Road Knight if we have it. I don't know if you... I think you just need it to level 2 in order to farm it ourselves so but you know i'm gonna get it just a bit higher okay let's go there to see what is causing them Oppa. there are actually critters on this planet what a surprise oh a new species as well you want to get make sure that this one gets up to 15. We finished researching road night and there we go that's we enough. Oh, that's to some weird ones. However, we will first have to gather some road knight to craft any gear. The red crystals that contain road are relatively common in the acidic plains biome. <laughs> relatively common. I detected an interesting location with a much above normal condensation on their growth. There should be a lot of road in that area. I've the the there you go, Road Knight coming in. Coming Excellent. in hot. Let's go there as soon as we secure the current objective. And why is this so important? Because this is our plasma weapon. This is getting upgrades to plasma weapons. And plasma weapon is kind of my primary weapon right now. So let's uh, make sure that we get... Look at that. We already have all the research, so we just need to collect some Road Knight. That's why this is so important. All right, let's have a look at the road knight. How much we have? We have 230. Let's see how much we need for the plasma gun. 300. I'm going to keep uh, doing that. Okay, so we think we have enough to build our plasma gun. Yes. Most important thing. 900 DPS. Okay, let's first unequip this one. So this one, plasma gun, is 600 and something. I'll disassemble it. And then I'll equip this one. Let's see. What do we want? Uh, we can get 28 damage. I'll take it. And what else? Cluster it projectiles. Sure. Cluster projectiles. Or splash radius. Or stun chance. Stun chance? Stun chance? That might be really good. We'll try a stun chance. Cool. Oh. Alright, so that was uh, that's our weapons upgrade. Let's uh, head out. Oh, that's a... Is that a new... What is that? Fungus Acidius Rubidus. That's uh, super important to get that one up. Uh, we have to get that one up to 10. Because that enables us to farm it. And that's actually later on the one that we farmed with Palladium. From this one. So let's make sure that we get it. There we go. Uh, we are going to get that one to 10. So whenever we see those, we have to scan them. And here we have like the, the best thing about this map. To be honest. The acidic fumes are much denser near this growth. This thing must be responsible for the highly corrosive atmosphere in this area. This life form is multiplying very rapidly. It is subdividing its cells, similarly to earth-based yeast. 
Yeah, the yeast said. That one. There must be much it. more of this acidic yeast growing here. The orbital scanner report indicated that this entire biome is. Ah, oh, that hurt. What? Study it further before sending. I did not know that they hurt. In this area wow. Of the planet. Now we know. I strongly suggest using a bio scanner to gather samples from these life forms. The fluid inside them is a highly condensed acid that can easily burn through my armor. The bio scanner will allow us to gather samples from a safe distance. Who cares about safe distances, huh? Ow! Okay, I care about safe distance. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Uh, Okay, these ones we also need to scan if we can, because they are... Oh, that's a different kind of Corcoran. Huh. Okay, let's uh, head on over to the location that it said was... Uh... It's a bioscanner. Go there. Wish we had something that would just destroy these crystals, like, super easy. Like, you know, like a nuclear power. Can I just not... Why can I not shoot at that then? There we go. I uh, didn't get much. Oh, here's another one. We have to scan. And then we plow away in there just to see if we get another example. Oh, there we got some friends. All these samples to scan him. I can't scan you, so. Kill you anyway. Okay, so here you can see that they are. They are spreading really, really quickly, this yeast. And I, I love that. I, I love it. I mean, I played it and love it. I think it's super cool mechanic and makes uh, this location the most engaging one, to be honest. We're really looking for these mushrooms here. That one. We're at 9 and 10. There we go. That's 10 of 10. I think for 10 of 10, we can actually farm them. Can I scan you? Nope. Definitely something shooting up here. What are these ones? I go in here, just harvest all of that beautiful road tonight. Warning. I'm detecting intense seismic activity. A strong earthquake is coming. There are so many good things I want on this map that we um, we kind of get distracted easily. Oh. Like, for example, from... Can you remember why we're here? Is near our position. More road night? Great. Serious damage to all our buildings in that area. Yeah, the yeast samples. Okay, so we need to look for those yeast samples. Actually, we can scan like this. Then it should be seeing... It's pretty easy to see that right ahead of us here. Okay, so here, um, we want to scan these before killing them. And once we kill them, it's easy to kill. So once we, sh once we did take them out. Alright, and then we just need to wait for the acid to dissipate so we can move a bit further in here. The earthquake has stopped. Let's assess the damage. There's another one. I'm just find my way in. There you go. There are many ways to do this. There are probably myriads of ways to do it. Oh, that's a lot of things coming in there. Oh, can I scan you? No. Nope. I want to try to scan this one. Because I know we need more of them. Oh, these are annoying. Where, is, where are you? Oh, there you are. They're super annoying. And then scan again. There we go, that's another one. Can I scan you? No, I can't scan you. That's nine samples. Getting up. Got some friends coming. Can I scan you? No, nope. I can't scan you. I'm really eager to scan these. Because there aren't that many of them. And they're pretty nasty. And let's see. Move down. Oh, that's definitely a thing. 
Where's the center one? There it is. Okay, that's enough samples to start researching them in the alien research lab. Great. Interesting. We found traces of palladium inside the acidic yeast samples that we just collected. Well, that's excellent, it isn't it? Good idea to search for larger colonies of this life form. They might indicate the location of higher concentrations of palladium. The acidic yeast colonies that we've observed seem to grow from a central root inside the colony. I'd like to study a living colony in its natural habitat to gather more data on how it gathers palladium from the environment. We'll need to construct a local research station near one of the colonies in order to do that. Sounds we'll good. have to download the necessary technology for that building if we don't have it yet. Ashley, I'm afraid that the research station will not be able to scan the colony from a safe distance. It would have to be placed very close to the root of the colony to work properly. We will not be able to build anything that close to the root without being overwhelmed by its growth. Especially given the fact that we do not want to destroy it. Research okay, let, that was a road night. And now we can do the environmental shielding absolutely first on that one. The anti-corrosive flooring. Thank you very much. And then we can go in here to lasers. Thank you very much. And anti-corrosive armor, probably. And corrosive gun, thank you. We're also going to go to the cryogenic atomizer because I think that's good. And I want to try sort of different weapons. Now, all of our research is now unfortunately focused over on this side. And with 5,000 for each of these, we have quite a while until all of this completes. I think that we can but we got our research completed. Our base by covering the soil with a structure that the acidic yeast can't grow on. Standard floor tiles are going to be corroded by the colony. We can prevent that. Now that we know the type of acid that this life form is producing, we can research special anti-corrosive flooring that will protect our base. We just need to build the research station on the anti-corrosive floor tiles. Orbital scanning completed. We have located a large colony of acidic yeast. I have marked the rift jump coordinates on the planetary scanner interface. Great. Warning. Now we can go there. It is recommended to develop acidic shielding before visiting that location. It is going to be difficult to survive there without it. Okay, but that one we already have queued up, so that's like six seconds away. Mission completed. Let's have a look to see if it uh, actually acidic research colony. That's the one we go for. I mean, that was the reconnaissance. Mission completed. Use the plan to return to HQ or basically go in here. We can also go into the road night, but I don't actually think we need the road night because um, we already have enough to start farming it. And that's what we really need. We need farming road night. That's the one way to get it. Not uh, not anything else. Let's go to the acidic use colony. And uh, as usual, when I jump through the rift that's a good time to uh, hit the like button if you are liking this let's play and then i'll see you on the acidic yeast colony research station rift here we are successful then detecting multiple acidic yeast colonies nearby they are larger than the ones we have seen before and are growing at a faster rate that's good. good. We need and to get close to the central sludge. root of one of these colonies. That should probably be how we get power. This isn't going to be easy. You? Can I scan you? No. I'm gonna have to kill you then. Hey, we get one. Oh, we didn't. That was not one. Alright, where... Uh, finding city yeast creeper root colonies. So the idea is that we find them, but we do not... Oh, that's excellent. Let's take this one. You'd love it. We could get some more loot. Actually, speaking of more loot, look at that. I got a new one, I think. There we go. Steel. That's also nice. We'll try that for a bit. The catacorn did not bring as much joy as it did for me, apparently. Very disappointed. But maybe the steel one will. Here they come. Big, big oh, these ones are the ones. Oh, a stone statue. How utterly irrelevant. Good. And did we get any loot out of it? Oh, yeah, we got the stone statue. Oh, new specimen. Oh, new thing. Is that the one? Actually. Ratchet's Futures in there. Oh, that's actually the one, I think. 
We need to scan. Oops, hello. There's a lot of things we have here. I think we need better armor and stuff because we are taking. Oh, can I scan? Yes. Always scan these if I can because they're. I need to figure out what they're weak against. Familiarity increase. Perfect. I need to figure out because they are part of our attacks on our base a lot. And yeah, I don't know exactly yet what they're weak against. Corrosive, maybe? Hmm, maybe. Uh, excuse me, but why are we not seeing. Oh, that's cool. Oh, here it is. Uh, find an acidic yeast creeper colony. I think that's the one in the middle. An acidic yeast colony root nearby. You can check its location on the map. But isn't this what I'm looking at right now? Ooh, yellow crystals. Is that a new one? No? From the earth increase, we also want to be able to farm those. Um, I'm kind of wondering, am I... Like, am I supposed to take the one that they're suggesting, or should I just take anyone? Okay, this looks like the central route of the colony. Yeah. Now we have to build a research station close to it to start the scanning procedure. Remember that we can block the growth of the colony by placing anti-corrosive floor tiles around That's it. That's these ones. It would be advised to build our entire base on anti-corrosive floor. It's hard to see anything in this fog. Great. It's also affecting our solar panels and wind turbines. We have to wait it out. So the point is, we shoot, kill, shoot, kill all of this, and as we push it back, oh, don't kill the middle one. As we push it back, then we replace it with tiles. Damn it! This might be one of those places where I don't have to build like nice tiles, but simply just go out here and build as many tiles as possible. Oh yes, definitely. Don't like it, but that's kind of how it has to be. And then push it back again. And get some concrete on this area. As always, concrete is the solution to most of life's problems. There we go. Let's get some of that road knight. Beautiful road knight. Oh, can I scan you? No, no scan, but just shoot. And... Doesn't matter. It doesn't cost much, so just box it in everywhere. Just make sure it can't spread. I'll make sure I don't accidentally kill the middle one. And then a patch of concrete. I love the area that is here. Oh, I have to make sure not to use the turrets because the turrets will shoot at the middle one. Oof, no turrets. Ow! What the hell happened? What the hell? Wasn't even, wasn't even dangerous. Oh, okay. So we have to do this, and I think that the, the problem here is that they are building. The big one is building the small spawners, and the small spawners are building the building the creep, or the acidic yeast thing. For, for example, that one. Now that's a spawner, and that's a spawner. So if there are spawners nearby, if there are spots nearby, then they will build the spawners there, right? Therefore, complete everything here with concrete and then just anything that sort of gets by like this and then hurry up and fill it. And then hurry up and fill it. Yeah, I think that's pretty much boxed in. And let's push this bat back. I think we can actually just take all of it out because it's threads from the central one. And uh, since the central one is not there, there should be nothing spawning new uh, spawning new spawners. Yeah, I think that's it. Now they won't come back. 
Unless there's something else on the map that is also coming out here. Just to be safe, then let's fill everything with concrete. I don't know why we would want to, to uh, colonize this planet. It's a miserable place. Alright, so we're ready to build, I think. I don't think we can get closer to this. So this is where we are told to build a research station. There. Research station, probably like food, doesn't it? We are going to find a... Oh, we also need to build... Why can we not build an outpost? Hmm, okay. I guess we don't build an outpost. We're going to need to find some power. Let's actually do the carbonium power plant for a while, for a chance. Carbonium power plant, that should be good. Uh, I don't even have that research uh, higher levels. And let's get a radar as well. So that's not generating a lot of power, but it's generating some. Wind is slowing down. That will be coming in. And we'll probably get some... Oh, we'll absolutely get some attack. Make sure this one doesn't get rebuilt. Good thing we don't use wind turbines then. We do not want to give that a chance to find anything within its range where it can, can build that. There we go. Prepare for incoming attack. Check the research station. Great. Now we just have to maintain power to the research lab and let it gather the necessary data. My sensors are picking up increased movement around our position. Yep. We should prepare to defend the research laboratory. Awesome. Uh, do I have a wall? Luckily, the first attack is pretty irrelevant. There. That beeping sound is, well, slightly annoying. What? Get out here. Oh, those are some big, nasty artillery. They are the worst when they start showing up for the normal attacks because they have so so long range. Okay, what do we want? We want just a bit of attacks. Uh, what, what are the best ones we can do? Railgun towers? Oh yeah, railgun towers are super good. It's so good that we got them. Okay, they're shooting, so that's good, right? Ah, uh, no, 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 they've turned around. Oh, hello. Explosives. Wow, more attacks. I want to get that one scanned. This is the problem. It's these ones, the explosives out here. Okay, no. No, don't, don't do that. Oh my god, I'm why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? Annoying. Oh, wow. Okay, how are we doing? 137. And we got a big attack coming in from this side. Fences in. Look at that. This artillery is what we really want to get for. Okay, don't go, don't do the same thing again. Yeah, this artillery pretty nasty. The data that we've gathered proves that this life form can digest even the smallest traces of palladium. Oh, there palladium we go. normally doesn't react with most acids, but this life form uses a highly concentrated form of fluoric acid that is heated up by the creature's metabolic processes. We can program the orbital scanner to analyze the growth patterns of the acidic yeast colonies. This should help us in finding palladium deposits that these colonies are moving towards. Affirmative, Ashley. Orbital scanning in progress. Analyzing acidic yeast growth patterns. All right, so let's head to that mission. That is a horrible mission. Oh no. We got it and gather Palladium more samples. Let's go. And we are landing on the planet.
Again. New species. It's actually quite calm in here. That's a bit suspicious, don't you think, Mr. Riggs? Yes, that is abnormal. I'm not detecting any acidic yeast colonies in the area. The local farm population. All right, so this mission, uh, we'll just let them chat a bit here. And okay, hit around here. Oh wow, I thought I killed you. Not, I guess. Where's the loot? Where's the loot? There it is. What do we get? Oh, a bit of palladium. That's nice. No research for us. Oh, we found it. Oh, we found the problem. See that this There are bombs here. What's this? The geoscanner detected a hidden cache of explosive fluid underground. This functionality is normally used for detecting minefields. There are exploding mushrooms underground. This a lot of exploding mushrooms. Colonies are not present in this area. Like a lot That's of exploding mushrooms. Ah, run away. Uh, but the thing is, like, if I just walk around like this, and then just dash out, then I should be okay, right? It takes so long time to disarm bombs. The most efficient way of disarming bombs is just walking on them, right? That will disarm them immediately. Ooh, all those damn explosives. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of a lot of explosives. <clears throat> It is a bit risky approach, this one, especially if I'm uh, using my dash. Yeah. Collect palladium. So it looks like that it already has identified that there's palladium here. Ow. I'm standing in. Let's clear this out. Because I can't scan any. Um, anything. Oh, I thought I was scanning here. Hmm. Move on to the next place. That's a long time until we get this caladium. There we go, another little location. How much we got? 300 and 400. Okay, that was actually a good one. But alas, there's still so much more that we need to do. And uh, as I progress, I'm also just scanning every single one of these because I know I need these and I'm only at five. I need to get a 10 to farm them, I'm pretty sure. So let's just continue to scan. Every time we take out one of the mines, uh, then we also get uh, we also get like three palladium, so it is not a lot of palladium we get from that. But we really need one of those uh, big little bases to scan. But we continue. Ow, that was difficult, that one. Not difficult, but dangerous, I would say. That we've been we got it. Here are too small to build a mining station. However, we've learned how to find it. The data gathered with the geoscanner can be fed to the orbital scanner to search for mineable palladium. Our mission here is complete. We can return to headquarters to start preparing to build a palladium mining outpost. Understood, Ashley. I'm starting the orbital scanning procedure and searching for mineable palladium deposits. In the meantime, we should research palladium handling technology to be able to actually construct palladium mining stations. Yeah, but I just want this loot box uh, with us as well, right? We want, just want the loot box. That's of course. I'm seeing very dark and heavy clouds on the horizon. Their composition suggests acid rain is coming. We have to prepare quickly. We won't be able to build anything while it's raining. And come on, give us that loot. What? Oh, there it is. Dash fire? What? I have that. I have dash it's fire. Acid. It's Weird. going to corrode and damage our buildings. 
Atomizer. Don't care about that one. Cryogenic Atomizer and Lab Next Level. Alright, what can we then do? We can get the Cryogenic Atomizer, even higher level. And Corrosive Gun Advanced is being researched. That's excellent. This one is Fungus Tentacle Cyanus. Okay, let's have to look at Fungus. That's probably here. Fungus Tentacles Viridis. Uh, okay, so that's one I don't have. Fungus tentacles. Yeah, so it's another fungus tentacles thingy. So those disgusting plants. I think I have what I need to start farming, but I am absolutely not sure. But we'll be going into the next mission anyway. Mission completed. Let's have a look over on this side. And where is the mission completed? It is gather palladium ore samples. Mission completed. And what was the next one? Uh, why? Okay, I guess we want to go back then. All right, let's go back until we get the research. No? Oh, palladium handling, that's the part. Yeah, 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 okay. We got palladium handling, that one. And that needs to go up top, 40 seconds. Excellent. So, I don't actually think I need to do that. I'll just wait it out here so I don't have to go back to the... the Home planet because if I go there, there would probably be an attack. We got the palladium handling. That's good. Maybe good. there will be fewer exploding mushrooms <laughs> in that area. Yes, please. Either way, we should remember to use the geoscanner frequently. Right, then we can now go straight into the actual palladium outpost samples. Why have we not go there yet? Oh, that's one because we are here. <laughs> palladium mining outpost, that's the one. Let's jump into that one. And we landed on this Ridge site. Orbital scanning was correct. I am detecting multiple rich palladium deposits nearby. Scan. Warning. Acidic yeast activity is very high in this area. Okay, let's look for an easily defendable position near a palladium deposit. Oh, and that's a palladium. And remember to build our base on anti-corrosive floor tiles. This biome is not going to give up its resources easily. Once we establish the permanent outpost... Oh, this is a new one. Oh, this is the one I need. ...the acidic yeast colonies. That should stop them from spreading further. That could adversely change the ecological balance of this biome. Let's treat that option as a last resort. Uh, what? No. <laughs> you kidding me? Of course we're gonna destroy everything. Ah, see? They're doing, doing their best to destroy me, so... Oh, yeah. There we go. I think I got that one. Tentacle Cyanus. Uh, and then that should open a new research here. Oh, that one. Teleport. Was that it? Canoptric nests. Yes. And Cochrones. Uh, okay. Crocoons. The giants. The rock giants. Time warp? It should be possible to create a miniature warp in time space around the mecha suit. It allows the user to manipulate time to a degree. I, I think I'll research that one. That's not good. Looks like something I'd want. Laser tower? Yeah, I don't want to also want that. Uh, but first, we just got another level of something, right? 43 minutes. Uh, there's something here that takes extremely long time. Like six minutes. There, yeah, that's okay. But this one? Mm, maybe not take that right now. Corrosive gun also takes a lot. I think this is the one we just bounced to the end. We can use that as well. Because we are going to definitely need that before. All right. I am still working on finding a few more locations for scanning. Okay, so after my much uh, roaming about, I have found a location that I like. It has two locations here. Uh, two palladium right next to each other. And that's really nice. So uh, let's take this location as our location for a base. And let's also see, that would be nice if this just pops up as... Eh, okay. So what we need to do here is make... Build anti-corrosive... Wow, they just keep coming, don't they? 
we need to start working and building anti extra stable anti corrosive let's build anti corrosive here and we just need to build a base that captures this one and that one and maybe even the one not down here but i don't know we'll, we'll see so stamp down this and uh, once we are done with that we can start uh, filling in the blanks inside but yeah uh, right now it's just complete all right we build a small perimeter and i think it's time for us to start building our base we're gonna start by building an outpost and i can't build an outpost right oh that was it okay cool and uh, let's see we, i need to align it somewhat out down here i'll just build it up in that location so that would be the first thing the next thing will be our mining acid Ashley, yourself. level three these are super good but um probably very very expensive in terms of power so good thing we have this thing here there's no such thing as aronium power but we have this so i am going to with highly corrosive gas we won't be able to build anything within these clouds. Good stuff. Uh, let's build it over here. Now that is a level 2 pump. It gives us 150 per second of sludge. And sludge is uh, good stuff. Gas filtration, what does that give us? Sludge to flammable gas. Okay. Let's see if we can get another one of these. consume a lot of power. There's a natural abundance of refinable sludge in this biome. Yeah, so that's 300 now. Power plants. That if I want to use 300. Idea. Do not forget to secure our outpost with advanced defense towers. Don't have set up. A few short range radar stations One, would also two, be three. They can monitor the growth of a city east colonies. There. And we don't have any power yet. And uh, I will definitely need to build this into some storage tanks. There we go and then figure out how much that's going to be 25 times three so what is our gas power plant here it takes 50 Ugh. and only generates 500 wow that's not very good that is really not very good some people will be like ah this is amazing and i gotta say no not amazing very much not amazing that is a huge infrastructure for very little gain not impressed by that i mean you can say, oh, it's free power. Yeah, but you have to build the infrastructure and all. So it's it's the, all of this for 500. I mean, technically for 750 because I could build one more, but I can't feed it though. That's the problem. Mm. I'm going to need to get one more sludge thingy out here or find a way to get... <coughs> Sorry. Um, better gas thingy? Yeah, that one. That's going to be one minute. Let's get the better gas thingy so we can have 200 for each. Okay, if that's 200 each, then this will be... I can build one more. I can build one more of these gas plants. There we go. And I can then build one more of these. So that will now be taking 200 for 200. That's 400 in. Becoming 100 of the actual power plant. And that will give us... I think it's also because I don't have any more. So that gave us 1,000 si 1, power. And I don't think that's a lot. Unfortunately, it doesn't work just yet because we don't have any... Uh, we don't have any power to sort of kickstart it. So we'll need to do that as well. Yeah. And in order to kickstart it, what are we going to do? Um, how much do these take? Rare mineral mining it takes 200 energy so that's already 1600 energy that's not even close to enough solar is the only thing that actually kind of works on this planet especially here at night oh, wait a minute that one i could also look for some better okay we got that one upgraded what about gas power new thermal power where is the gas power? Here we have some geothermal power. Geothermal power 3. Uh, fusion power. Oh, I like. That one's also power. Nuclear power plant and uranium centrifuge. It's these ones. Gas power plant. Why are we not having gas power plant? Because I don't have gas power plant level 2. That takes 40 seconds. Uh, there we have the problem. Alright, let's do that. 40 seconds until that. That will give us more power. 
And then they need to be upgraded. What about the filtration thingy? They can't be upgraded, but this... What? That's upgraded, and that's upgraded. You, 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 you. And I'm going to throw in some turrets as well. Or, sorry, some radars in the corner. Yeah. And probably one in this corner as well, just to get a sense of where we are being, when we're being attacked. There. And it's nighttime. So, are these kind of working? This one has... Okay, they have some flammable gas. Perfect. Gas energy level 2. I'm going to upgrade that one. I wonder if it... Does it run in the meantime? I guess it goes up to 750 if I do that. Okay, and go back here. We got the gas energy. We're going to take the next gas energy as well. Hey, okay. I thought it was bad. It's not that bad. Once we just upgrade the other things here, then it'll be much better. This will take... Okay, this is a... Uh, when you're in the process of upgrading, it always displays both the current and the next tier. So this is 50 plus 50. That's because everything, it only takes 50. And then it upgrades to 75. 750, sorry. And that means this thing here can produce 1500. It's still not a lot of power. I mean, it's, it's better. Upgrade again. Minus 1600. <laughs> There's no power anywhere. Alright, let's wait until this one's updated and then we should be uh, getting better. So we finally got our gas power plants up. We have uh, tapped three of these locations. That is 600 inbound. Each of these are consuming 100. So I have six of these. They output 25. So unfortunately they can't... Never mind. They can be upgraded. What are we now new? What is that, that now doing? Mm. Okay, we have at least power enough and we have... This one is coming. Okay, prepare for incoming attack. I am, It's coming from up there, so that means we should prepare this area. I've put in some various thoughts here. Various, various towers uh, that we think we like here. Just, just a random smattering of towers everywhere, basically. And we have level 3 walls, so I think we're pretty good here. We are gonna go, just put some things in, and then we'll basically just wait for the attacks to come in. There. Let's see how that goes. Uh, let's see. Okay, now that we have enough power, that when this one's upgraded, I guess... Okay, right now we were just burning through this, and I am going to take that out and build another power plant, because I'm pretty sure we can feed another gas power plant here. Level 3. Gives us 1,000 energy per second. That's not bad. So it went... Uh, we must actually say that... The power here went from being quite bad to actually quite good. These ones now level 2. Can I then upgrade these again? Of course I can. Um, there. Excellent. Let's see. And these are taking 50 per second. So this is going to be 200... Per second that we are consuming. We don't know what that one is going to be healing, giving us yet. Alright, let's see how this is going with our defenses here. We should have, like, pretty good defenses. Let's just see if it works. Oh, a new species discovered. I'm not doing anything. Just... Okay. So defenses are actually working quite well here. Great. Good information. And now let's just uh, get the last bit of power. Let's uh, look at the gas filtration thing. This is taking 100 sludge and giving us 75. So that's 150 and that's another 150. And that's another. So this is giving 450 gas and this is consuming... What? 450 gas? What? Okay, I, I retract everything I previously said about gas power. Damn, with fully upgraded, it is insane. So this is consuming 200. So this is three. Let's try to go with one pump. One pump is 200, in the best of cases. 200 can be consumed into uh, here. Uh, into two of those. Yep, and I will be 150 out. 150 is actually three plants. So it's going to be one, one pump, two gas power, a gas filtration and three power plants. That can be 3,000 3, power. That's a lot. That's a lot. 
That's a way better than I thought, actually. All right, okay, I stand corrected. This is why we trust. This is why we learn. Warning. I'm detecting a massive swarm of creatures heading towards our outpost. We still have some time to prepare. Strengthen our defenses as much as possible. This attack is going to be very strong. The mining operation must have disturbed a lot of them. We're going to need advanced defense towers to repel these creatures. Also, let's not forget about setting up minefields on the Ooh, critical paths toward our outposts. Uh, that's my exit. Isn't it? That is my exit, right? Yeah, this is my exit. So, laser turrets as well. Okay, I'm gonna set up like a stupid amount of defenses here and we're just gonna see how um, the poor biters handle this. Yeah, I feel pretty confident about my over-engineered defense here. I've just put every single turret that I could find in here. I'm not using plasma turrets because they use palladium. The so, also down here. And space. I've just they made a little path out here so that they can't fashion. get in. Uh, if the creep, you can see the, the creep out here is expanding we as let's well. Go out and meet them. Uh, let's see, let's see. I actually want to see how the, the automated defenses are working without help that i feel is much more interesting uh, since i feel that we've done enough and if we haven't done enough with this then i don't think there's a way that we can get enough upgrades i'm just see if there's anything here that isn't upgraded a few things that are not upgraded okay everything else is upgraded okay here they come here they come i've not even put a lot of resources into like various defenses here. I want to try to just monitor to see how well it works. At what distance they start shooting. Yeah, that's a real gun stuff. And there are rockets, there are sentinel towers, there are just all sorts of towers coming in. I don't have flamer towers here, I have flamer towers at the other location just in case. Let's look at this place. Barely anything is actually activating them. I'm not firing any shots here. I'm just trying to see if I can... If I don't have to. If I build proper defense, if I don't have to. See, these are the ones that are most annoying. It looks like we're also cutting them apart really... In an okay way. Familiarity increased. Look at down south. How's that coming along? Oh, they're actually not really getting close. We don't know what they are susceptible to, these ones. That was really good. So, clearly defenses are pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. We don't know which ones deal more damage. ...against hordes of acid-spitting monsters, giant snails, underground death beetles, and all-devouring yeast. I call it a day. And we might as well take we this. We have gathered enough palladium to construct the hyperparticle condenser. We should return to HQ to start the construction process. Now, here's an important Excellent thing. Excellent idea. Oh, this talk. outpost will remain here as a permanent base of operations. We can even build up more mines and factories here to boost our economy. All of the resources that are produced in this location will be automatically transferred to our HQ as long as the orbital scanner is operational. Long distance rift travel and resource transportation are not possible without it. We're gonna be a little bit cheeky here. Let's set this up before leaving. Because if we leave, we don't get attack while we are not here. So I might as well take this while I'm right before I leaving. Leaving, then we're not gonna get attacked here. I hope. And that should be... Uh, I think I need to wait for this to complete, just in case. Um, I'll just wait for this to complete, just in case. And so everything is now built. We can look at our storage here. And that should be palladium skyrocketing. Well, maybe not. But we have our mission complete and it's time to head home to the headquarters. As we head home to the headquarters we will be able to see this one 60 palladium per second that is absolutely amazing that's exactly what we need let's go back to the base
And so we're back on our home base and here we are going to just wrap up. I'll just give you sort of a heads up on what's going to happen All now that we have. Stopped. Yeah, that's our fine. Wind turbines are down. Uh, what's going to happen is now that we have uranium, titanium and palladium, then we can start making the final products of the rift station. But we can also just set up more farms. I can do it, set some fusion power plants. We can explore a bit with some of the different things like the ironium and carbonium synthesizers. And that's definitely what we're going to do. We're also going to explore a bit more with in terms of our power uh, or sorry, not in power, our weapons, because we have been sort of gradually researching new weapons. Swarm missiles, I also want that one. Uh, nuclear missile here we have the cryogenic atomizer once we have those things the corrosive gun as well and the rail gun we want to test those out because we want to see how good they actually are so we can give you uh, give you some feedback and that's going to be the next episode and then we'll progress towards the final objective of the risk station and the massive uh, final combat that will inevitably be there so i hope that uh, we can start we can't really see the end yet but we can see the light of the tunnel and it's not sort of a million biters coming charging at us so thank you very much for watching i hope you're enjoying it if you are then uh, you would help me a lot if you are hitting the like button sharing commenting you know the drill and of course if you are new around here and you've made it all the way to the end then consider subscribing for more content like this thank you for watching until next time Take care and stay effective.